Hello everyone, welcome to the Adoran region. I'm your host Adoran himself. Welcome back to another episode of Ace Attorney Justice for All. Right now it's time for the uh, the case. I don't think this is the right one actually. Uh, whoops. This is the one we're on. Haha. <laughs> I'm looking at it. I'm like, where's the justice for all there? Here we are. Uh, 4.1 trial. Uh, it's time. It's, it's big. It's the moment we've all been waiting for. Uh, we're panicking right now. Um, because, you know, Maya in trouble as usual anyway let's jump on in you can ask the question in the playlist in the description down below let's get going june 22nd 9 51 a.m district court defendant lobby number three Ooh, or number three do you guys notice a difference between number two number three number one i don't know if there are any more uh, i'm assuming we've been at least three so i'm wondering if you notice a difference because i do not um nick yeah maya you don't look so great do you know that von karma's daughter is only 18 just like me? Okay. And? Uh, yeah. Why? I was just thinking about how strong she is. I mean, she's been in Germany all this time by her, all by herself and she's so grown up. Well, it, did, it didn't It did help that Von Karma older version was bombarding us here, so... Yeah. Yeah, and I'm sure she felt a lot of pressure from her father's reputation. And then you'd look at me and, well... I'm the daughter of the master, but I'm still just a little girl. I guess so? Maya, you need a hug or like a pick-me-up. We can go get coffee or something right now. And on top of that, I'm the suspect in a murder trial. Well, Maya, you're the suspect in a murder trial all the time. So <laughs> we could just, you know, we, 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 just, we just push that aside a little bit. Um, But I think you're really strong too, Maya, for all you've gone through. Heck, you've gone through a... Uh, a boatload. I was trying to think of a classy way to say it. Uh, you've gone through a lot of stuff over the past 7 to 12 months. I forget how long the same time frame is. Good morning. The two of you look like you're doing well today. I'm happy for you. Pearl, not now. <laughs> hey, morning, Pearly. How's it going? You'll be safe today, Mystic Maya. Huh? What do you mean? My mother is coming today to show her support. Yeah, yeah, that, that's right, Pearly. Uh huh. Hey, Pearls. Uh, could you do me a favor? Hmm? Yes, Mr. Nick? Um, do you think you could do me a big favor? Could you channel Mia today, too? <gasps> what? Huh? I was sort of hoping to sit in the audience today and watch. Please? It's very important to me. I don't feel confident enough without her help. Mr. Nick, that's enough. You can't show weakness in front of the person you love. Looking around for that person? Who? <laughs> Pearly, not this again. Oh, Maya. <laughs> I mean, we like Maya here. We love Maya here. But we, I don't think we love Maya. We just love Maya. You get the gist? Alright, anyway. Please, can you do this for us, Pearlies? Pearly, Pearls? Um, alright, I'll do it. I'll do it for Mystic Maya's sake. See you later, then. I'll leave you two to your alone time. Ha ha ha. Uh, thank goodness. Nick? This way, Pearls won't be able to see today's trial. What, what, what do you mean? What, what, what's going on? Oh, that's right. We did kind of implicate our mother as, like, the big bad. Hmm. Yeah, that's a fair point. June 22nd, 10 a.m., District Court, courtroom number two. It's time, folks. It's what you've all been waiting for, the MVP caliber performance. Oh, wait, no, this is the judge. The judge would absolutely not say anything like that. Ahem. Court is now in session for the trial of Maya Faye. The defense is ready, Your Honor. Uh, oh gosh, what voice did I give you? I gave you... I gave you my interpretation of a bad German accent. Um, let's start already. Mr. Phoenix Wright, I look forward to today's news with great joy. The image of your defeat face, defeated face will be transmitted all over the world. All over the world, huh? Sounds like you've made quite a name for yourself, Phoenix. May I? Not now. Don't be foolish, you foolish fool, wearing the foolishly foolish clothes. Dr. Mia? The famous one is me. I'm the prodigy which has never been lost a case. I got a slight, like, hiccup, I think, and that just threw that line way out the window. I'm the prodigy who has never lost a case since becoming a prosecutor five years ago. And? I still haven't lost a case either. Naturally, the world's eyes got on me as I conduct my first trial in this country. Uh-huh. That's nice, Miss Von Karma. Hm. Glad to see you're in such good spirits today, Miss Fay. Uh, it's true what they say. Women really are scary when they fight. Gulp. Okay. 
So you recognize Miss Faye? I, have we gone through this? I'm confused. This this feels to me like the equivalent of. We'll throw this out. Yeah, why not? It's like whether or not in, in like Family Guy they understand Stewie or something like that. It's like, do you understand or not? Do we know how spirit channeling works? Because I don't know if the judge knows. I think Edgeworth has gotten used to it. Oh, well, Edgeworth's off a cliff right now. Um, figuratively, of course. Maybe literally. Who knows? We need to spirit. Um, Pearls obviously understands. The, the, the Faye peoples understand. So I think Francisca understands. I don't know. Anyway. Let's get going. Now then, a very interesting theory was presented during yesterday's trial session thing. That the defendant could have left the channeling chamber, correct? Yes, and this key is proof of that. This key, the only key to the channeling chamber, was not where it should have been. Your Honor, I would like to say one thing before we begin. Uh, all right, let's hear it. What are we talking about here? The prosecution has determined that from the time of the murder to the time of arrest, the defendant did indeed leave the room at one point. What? Hold up, hold up, time out. Mia, she's on our side, something's wrong. Yeah, crowd out here like, what? But, Miss Von Karma, then how do you explain this picture? Are you saying then that the, the person in this picture is not the defendant? I never said that wasn't the defendant. Then what, what, what is the meaning of this? I know that Von Karma's voice has not been German. I kind of like this voice, even though it's very anti-backstory. We'll roll with it. I know. I have enough. All I'm saying is that Maya Fey, after killing the victim, exited the room. And I believe that is when she dropped this key. C can you substantiate your claim? Isn't that what I'm here for? The prosecution would like to call the defendant's aunt, Morgan Fey, to the stand. Just as I suspected, Aunt Morgan. Poor Mia. She seems really torn by this. All right, let's get going. Hey, hello, how's it going? Witness, name and occupation. My name is Morgan Fay, and I am a spirit medium in a manner of speaking. Uh, uh okay, so the judge, yeah, clearly. Um, I'm sorry, but what do you mean in a manner of speaking? <laughs> I don't think anyone really cares. Now then, after the murder took place, you kept watch over the defendant, correct? Yes, that is correct. I performed the spirit severing technique on Mystic Maya then. Sp spirit severing technique? A technique to remove a spirit from a body and send it back to the other world. That is. Yes, that is. Hey, you do it. You be quiet. Now, fitness. Something happened when you were performing this technique, correct? Yes, that is correct. Uh, what, 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 what the world could. Oi, oi, where the information going? Mystic Maya, she escaped from the room. You couldn't tell me this. What? Mm. Mm -mm -mm. And here we come to the heart of the matter. Maya Fey, while in a possessed state, managed to escape from the Chambling Chamber. Chambling? Channeling. Escaped. Big bad. We will we, we alert. Order, order, order. Miss Fey, please testify to the court what happened during this time. Your Honor, I will try my best. I think someone just upped the ante on this trial. Yep, it ain't great. Maya apparently escaped. Let's get going. After we heard the gunshots, those two broke down, the, broke the door open and entered the chamber. I requested that Mr. Wright and the other lady please contact the police. A pistol was hanging from Mystic Maya's hand, and she was in a daze. Okay. Then, quite suddenly, she thrusted me away from herself and escaped from the room. With great strength, she hit the base of my neck and I fainted for a short while. I'm afraid I have no knowledge of where she went after that. Huh? Huh? Yeah, I'm with you, Phoenix. Why have you hidden this until now? We could've used this. They could've used it. Somebody could've used this. I... I did not wish to cause more trouble for Mystic Maya. However, I must correct false, false falsities when they arise. I was about to say false salities, which I don't think is a word. That's right. She is simply correcting a falsity, Mr. Phoenix Wright. Why is she making it a point to take a stab at me? All right, never mind. Okay. Mr. Wright, your cross-examination, please. My aunt is a very smart and sly person. It's going to be hard for us to find a crack in her testimony. Cool. I'm not scared at all. He says... Lying through lay teeth. Okay, time to uh, do what we do best and press on every single thing possible. 
Uh, just now, you said those two. Who were the two people you were referring to? I was referring to that foreign lady and yourself, good sir. Um, Lada's not a foreigner, despite how she talks. Oh? Is that so? I'm sorry. I simply could not understand her atrocious English. Not to mention, she looked awful. Now I already see people in the heartland gearing up for a riot. Time to go fight in another day. In any case, I've already sent the repair bill to your office, Mr. Wright. What? Oh, Drat, I gotta pay for the door? Oh, I, thanks. Hmm. What did you do after that, Miss Faye? Alright, I requested that Mr. Wright and the other lady please contact the police. Right. Sure. Was it really necessary to have two people do something so simple as call the police? If there was a possibility of escape, then one of us should have stayed behind. Mm, yes, that is a very good point. At the time, I myself was a little confused. On top of which, there was another. Another what, madam? Oh, it's nothing. No need to concern yourself. Uh, excuse me. Uh, okay, question further. There was another reason you wanted both of us out of that room, wasn't there? Come on, spit it out. You must testify. Why did you chase us out of the room? I simply did not wish for there to be more victims. Oh, that's not great. The lives of both the good sir and the camera woman may be in danger, is what I thought to myself. Oh, that was very noble of you, Miss Faye. This is bad. Now people have a good impression of her and a bad one of us. Looks like she caught us napping. That's my aunt for you. Are you satisfied now, Mr. Wright? Miss Faye, please continue. All right. Pistol was hanging from Mr. Kamaya's hand. Right. Right. We did go, We did. We did discuss late pistol. During an investigation, you said that you struck the defendant on the head, and the strike caused Maya to lose consciousness. Do you stand by this statement? I'm afraid I don't. The statement I gave you was a lie. What? Okay. But, but why would you lie about something like that? It is very painful for me to say this, however. Objection! Alright, we're objecting somewhere. The witness was lying to cover for the defendant. Let's move on. She was covering for Maya. Question further. We always question further. I think. I don't know. Uh, generally, you question further. So you're covering for the defendant? Well, yes. It was only later that I was informed of what had occurred. That the renegade Mr. Maya had done something very unexpected. So, something unexpected? What pray tell did she- <sighs> Ah, dude! This fitness didn't and couldn't have seen what happened. If you want to know what this unexpected thing was, there is always later. Yes, very well. Oh boy, why does it suddenly feel like there's a rock in the pit of my stomach? Now, witness, continue with what happened. Alright, threw away. We threw the person away. Alright, was it really that easy for her to escape from you? I'm ashamed to admit such a thing, however, yes. But you're physically larger and stronger than the defendant. There's no way she could have escaped from you so easily. Objection! Okay, what are we objecting about? Have you forgotten already, Mr. Phoenix Wright? What about this picture? Remember that at the time, the defendant was not physically Maya Fey. Ugh. Mm, growing old is such a mysterious thing. Trust me, I know firsthand. Basically, Mystic Maya's body was still that of the nurse she had called. But if she had run away, wouldn't you have given chase right away? Well, yes, I would have. However... Now this is where she said, knocked out. Yeah. Okay. Um... You fainted? I became dizzy and then collapsed onto the floor. How long were you unconscious? I... I'm, I'm not sure. About ten minutes, perhaps? And the defender almost certainly went somewhere in that time. Happy? Fitness, elaborate on that point for us. Alright, and this is uh, no knowledge. That's not much of elaboration, but sure. Is that because you were unconscious? Why, uh, yes. Great. Well, no. Um, question further. We always question further. So while you were unconscious, you have absolutely no idea where the defendant went. I would think that's obvious, good sir. If that's true, then how can you know for sure that the defendant left the channeling chamber at all? Now that you mention it, I have to wonder myself. Hmm. It's true that this witness is not able to confirm this, but the key word here is this witness. What, what do you mean by that? I mean she has another witness up her sleeve. That's one. Looks like Miss Von Karma is ready to move on to her next witness. Alright. That's enough. From what I can tell, there is nothing wrong with this witness's testimony. And from what she has said, we can establish that Maya Faye did leave the chamber. Hmm. 
hope this isn't going to come back and bite us in the butt. Now let's take the next logical step, step in us. Where did the defendant go after leaving the channeling chamber? Yes, yes. That is exactly what we should be- Ah, oh my gosh. Be quiet, you. Now then, what the escapee had done when she had gone to speak- What the escapee had done was she had gone to speak with a certain person. She- She went to speak with someone. Who- Who was- The prosecution calls Miss Eeny Miney, who was sleeping in the side room at the time. Eeny Miney? I think you can see where this is headed. Yeah, and I don't like it. Whoa. Witness, name and occupation. Um, okay, so my name is, like, Eeny Miney. I'm, like, researching, like, parapsychology stuff at the, um, university. What is this parapsychology? Um, let's see. It's, like, I guess most people call it occult stuff? Even if that's what most people call it, I can't say I understand what that means, but alright, sure. And I suggest you go home and research it yourself. Yeah, yes, sir. Now then, Miss Miney. After the murder took place, you spoke with the defendant, Maya Fay. Is this correct? Um, well, hmm, like, I guess. If there's a case, then let's hear your testimony. That is all right, isn't it, Your Honor? Yes, sir. For the love of all things good, Your Honor, can have some spine. I have a backbone for my sake. Jeez Louise. Alrighty, let's get going. After the murder. Like, when the channeling started, I was like, Sleeping in the side room. Like, a little later, someone came into the room, like, really suddenly. Uh, so, like, it was like, oh my god, it was like, totally my sister. I, like, I hadn't seen her in, like, so long. I was happy in, like, a sad sort of way, you know? My sister, she, like, told me something, like, totally terrible. What? Okay. Now, hold your horses, young lady. You're saying the person that entered was your sister. Don't you mean the defendant, Maya Fey? Really now, your honor. Maya Fey was still in the middle of channeling at that time. Uh, are you saying the spirit, with the, the spirit of this witness is sister? Yes, Mimi Miney. She was a nurse at Dr. Grace Clinic. There's the whole reason why we're here. Oh, whoa, 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 dude, this is... I said, just broken. Witness? Like, yeah. In your testimony, you've mentioned a terrible thing. Why don't you tell the court what this terrible thing was? I'm sure we'd love to hear about it. Um, like, do I totally, like, really have to? Yes. Of course. Miss Miney, please. Um, well, hmm. My sister, like, this is what she said to me. Okay. That was no accident. The lights flash, the car goes. We continue forward. I was drugged with sleeping pills. The lights continue to flash. The car continues to go. I was murdered by that person. Crash. Boom. Explosions. The roughness. That's why I took my revenge. It's only fair. Isn't it? Eenie? And... That's a rough situation. She took her revenge. Are you sure that's what she said? Hold up, we may be going somewhere with this. Yes. There. Are you satisfied, Your Honor? Mm-mm. I still can't believe it. I can't believe that a spirit would go so far as to use a medium to get revenge. It is a bit hard to swallow. Hmm. But, you know. However, all the evidence and testimony points to this as the truth. So... The end. Grazie. That's not, you know, that's not German. Danke. What do you think, Mr. Wright? It certainly seems like all the loose ends are accounted for. No, there's one issue. Maya is getting blamed for murder. This, this testimony just now. Was it all made up? Was it just one huge lie? Of course it was, Phoenix. Maya, Mia, you can't think about, you, what? What's going on? Mia, what do you mean? It's well constructed, but that's all it is. But even the most well-spun lies can be undone. That's right. Pull on this ball of yarn here. We can do it, Phoenix. Let's find that one loose thread and unwind this tapestry of lies. Let's do this. Your Honor, there is room for doubt, so the defense will cross-examine this witness because we think they're bonkers. We believe that our cross-examination will reveal the real truth behind this murder, which is to say, that Maya person ain't do it. 
it again the foolish fool spouts out more foolishly foolish travel. I wonder if you will make this one more entertaining than the last. Well, here we go. Let's do this. All right. So, you were sleeping in the side room. Was that because of your um sesame allergy, was it? Like, that's right. I, like, think there was sesame seeds, like, in the lunch they served that day. I had this, like, premonition that it was going to totally be a seedy day. Yes, indeed. Okay, great. Hmm, I see. Am I the only one who missed the boat here? Anyway, so you were taking a nap. Did something happen while you were sleeping? Uh, like a little later, someone came into the room and then boom. Do you know the time? Um, uh, like, maybe a little before 11 a.m.? Something like that, I think? No, 11 a.m.? Yeah, like, my stomach is totally ready for, like, food. Are you talking- Wait, what? Hold up. Are you- Not the time now! I think you misunderstood me. I'm not asking what time is it now. I meant what time was it when the someone came into your room. Oh, so, like, that's what you meant. Like, you should have been more, like, clear about it. Oh, sorry, uh, my bad, apparently. No, it's okay. Like, it's really... Uh... That's it? <laughs> Why'd you stop mid-sentence? Uh, did I? So, like, what was I talking about again? Oh my, get this question. Uh, that's it. Never mind, forget the question. Witness about this person who entered into the side room. Uh, it was your sister. Whoa, that's wild. Are you absolutely sure, sure about this? I guess? What do you mean you guess? It's your sister. Was it or was it not your sister who entered? Like, I don't know. I mean, like, I totally don't know your sister at all, Mr. Smith. Okay, A, no. B, you're wrong. C, huh? First off, my name is not Mr. Smith. Second, I'm, I'm an only child. Uh, what? <laughs> Where did, all right, sure, Phoenix. Let's do some lore here. But more important than that, she's managed to mess up the question with her answer. Man, she's either really, really dumb or really, really good at pretending to be dumb. And I'm gonna be honest, with all that's going on, it's definitely the latter. Well, Mr. Wright, uh, the defense rests. Well, that was a colossal face of our time. Now then, witness, how did you feel when you saw the Miss Mimi Miney? Defense rest would not be the... I don't know much about lawyer stock, but I know that's not what you would say. Um, anyway, time, let's go. You were happy in a sad way? Yeah, like, I mean, it was my sister. But wouldn't most people react here with react with surprise at seeing a dead loved one again? Um, but like maybe if I was like someone who didn't know about like the occult, but I like know all about the Karine channeling technique. The point here is the witness immediately recognized that it was her sister. Yeah, like what she said. Uh, should I drop this line of questioning? No, question further. We always question further. So you really didn't think anything strained to the whole encounter? No. Like, there wasn't any reason for me to, like, think anything was, like, strange. But... Ow! Don't keep badgering her. Do you know the phrase, objection? Could you try using that once in a while? Hmm, yes, you're right. This question of what the witness felt when she saw her sister. Is it really that important? Um... Yes? Hello. She saw her sister. It's very important. Although I haven't quite figured out why, what it is yet. But, I've got to bluff for now and make it seem like I know what I'm talking about. Hey, shout out Phoenix. I'm doing what I do in everyday life. Alright. Alright, Mr. Wright. Miss Miney, please amend your testimony. Like, okay. I'm like, totally cool with that. I wasn't like scared at all, and like your costume looked totally like normal. Oh, that's not true at all. Um, but I'm gonna press this, just in case. That's because I need dialogue. So there was nothing odd about any- nothing odd at all about your sister's appearance. Like, yeah, nothing was, like, weird. Huh. Mia's talking to herself like she's found something wrong. Yeah, I found something wrong, too. I thought Mia was, like, underneath her breath doing, like, a curse or something like that. It's impossible. Hmm? Like, is everything okay? Can I, like, go on? Yeah, sure, go on. My sister, she, like, told me something terrible. Uh, something terrible? What was this thing she told you? Huh? Like, didn't I just, like, tell you about it? Did you, like, forget already? A foolish fool with a foolish seed, but a brain only speaks foolishly with foolish words. Well, 
Excuse me, princess. Now, should I ask her to, ask to hear the story again? Um, yeah, let's, but why not? I want to see what happens. If it's if it's fast, I'm sorry, but could I hear the story one more time? Like, sure, no problem. I'll even like tell it all spooky like for you. Is it different? That was no accident. I was drugged with sleeping. Okay, it's the same thing again. So I'll we'll just cut to the afterwards. There we go. Like, how was that? It was a little scary. Like, I'm sorry. Maybe I like put too much spookiness into it. Yeah, I don't know how you got the slideshows and everything, but there. I know there has to be something out here I can use, but where? She really put a lot of thought into the slide, didn't she? We can't rush this. Let's take it slowly, one step at a time. She's bound to slip up somewhere. Don't give up. Don't get careless, okay? Remain calm and collected. All right. Uh, so this is there. I want to see... Okay, this is the same thing. Um, so it's the one we fixed up. So, this. I'm pretty sure... It's... Where is it? This. Right? Maya's costume. Hello, it's got blood on it. Um, you're just showing up with a Maya's bloody person. You're not going to ask questions about it. So, I think this is it. This is what we're rolling with. Music stopped. That was a very well-spun lie, Messini. Uh, what? V what are you babbling about this time, Mr. Phoenix Wright? Well, eh, it's well-constructed. Gotta get props. But that's all it is. Stealing my lines now, are we, Phoenix? Mia, I learned from the best. Miss Miney, may I remind you of what you said? You said that there was nothing strange about your sister's appearance. L like, yeah, and? But I don't think that's what you were thinking at all. Take a look at this picture. That's, sure. Why are we showing the picture? Oh, it's this picture. I guess maybe this would have worked as well. This is a picture of the sister you met. I would think that even you would be surprised if someone appeared before you like this. Uh, the, the blood spray. Yes, good job, Francesca. Miss Miney, why did you not include the blood you saw in your testimony? If you were really testifying and not lying, you would have noted it right off the bat, seeing as you know it's blood. And a lot of it. Um. Mm. <laughs> Try me. Order, order, Miss Mighty, what is the meaning of this? I... Uh, Miss Mighty? I'm thinking, don't interrupt me. Um, that... Yeah, you... And what are you stammering about, Your Honor? Uh, well, I, I, uh, uh... That witness. Her personality did a complete 180 there. Yeah, this is reminding me of, um... What's her name? Alice or something from the previous... The, uh, May? April. April, May. That's it. That's what the joke was. Um, reminds me of her. Uh, lovey-dovey, ha 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 hee hee, and then, uh, all of a sudden trying to punch you out. Get into that feeling here. Lots of people do that when they get on the stand, though. Phoenix, I think that's a lot of people with you, but sure. Hmm. First off, calm yourself, fitness. Yeah. Like, I'm sorry, I, like, didn't mean to snap. Now, hurry up with the testimony. If you please. Oh, great, the judge still looks a little shaken up. A lot of help he's gonna be. Uh-oh. We got a, we got another thing. All right, part two. Let's do this. Like the side room is like kind of dark, you know. Okay. So like the costume is like purple, right? The blood totally blended right in. And I like persuaded my sister it wasn't like right to do something like that. And then like I took my sister to the channeling chamber. Okay, something's off about that. Mm, yes, now I see. And you have given us a clear reason for why you didn't notice the blood. You think? Like thanks, said Gramps. Are you satisfied, Mr. Wright? No. Something off about that. All right, I guess not. Very well. You may question the witness. Yeah, I, I ain't accepting this. We got things to do, man. People to see. After the murder, part two. All right, let's talk about this. So, here's the thing. Uh, something about this is off. And I'll be honest, it's been a minute since I've recorded this because I don't record this, like, daily. So I don't remember what. But it will come to. Really? Because I thought it was pretty bright inside that room. Objection. What? What are you objecting about? Don't put your subjective opinions onto this court. It is. It was literally the sun was beaten down. There were plants in that room. Like that's right. Um, excuse me, but how is my statement any more subjective than Miss Miney's? You are such a hopeless cause, witness. You may feel free to ignore this trite little man. Like okay. What? Oh, I can't breathe. I out of here. Shake the gates and everything. I said the costume was like purple, and the blood blended in. I don't know how that's, but sure, why not? You didn't see the blood. Like, yeah. But she must have had the gun with her at that time as well. That's, um... 
Hello? Are you gonna tell me next that you didn't notice the gun either? I, like, totally didn't. All I was looking at was, like, her face. Mm. Continue? What? That's all we get? I know, I persuaded my sister. Uh, okay, great. I persuaded sister wasn't ready to do something with that. That's fine. It's dandy. whoop de doo da And what was your sister, Miss Mimi Miney, like at the time? That's a good point. She'd been channeled randomly. Well, she was, like, totally flipped out because she just shot Dr. Gray. Okay. But I think, like, she knew. She, like, said she did something really bad. And, like, she said she wanted to go with me to, like, apologize to Miss Morgan. Did Mimi's spirit really all s say all that to you? Like, yeah. What? And then, like, I took my sister to the channeling chamber. Okay, what? Wrong direction. And took the sister to the channeling chamber. Right. Okay. Was your sister calm by that time? Like, I guess so? I guess maybe, like, taking her revenge on Dr. Gray, like, made her feel a lot better. Sure. I'd like to feel a lot better too, Mr. Phoenix, right? The sooner the better. Um, excuse me, what? What's that supposed to mean? She says with her whip at the ready. Excuse me, I am weaponless, okay? All I got is a badge. And like, the Miss Morgan was the only one in the channeling chamber, you know? May I ask you one more thing, Miss Mighty? Like, sure. Is there anything you found strange, unusual, or just out of place? Something out of place? Huh? Like, when do you mean? Uh, when? Uh, when you... We're in the side room? We're going to the strike machine and ride to the crime scene. Oh, I figured it out. I remember. Uh, when you were going to the crime scene. I'm talking about when you were going to the channeling chamber, of course. Um, like, no, nothing strange. She answered rather quickly. Now what? Uh, we press harder. We got this. I got it now. Think harder. I know you can remember something. I, like, totally can't. Okay, we're slamming the desk now. That's not good enough. You have to explain yourself clearly to this court. Hmm. Do you think, Mr. Wright, that whether or not there was something odd on the way to the channeling chamber is all that important? Yes, it's very important. I ask because it is very important. Not that I know where I'm going with this. Well, don't worry, I know where you're going with this. Very well, Miss Miney, if you will, please include a statement about this in your testimony. Like, I don't get why, but okay. I, like, didn't see anyone on the way to, like, the channeling chamber. Alright, I'm gonna press those because it's new. I might jump through this a little bit, though. Try to remember that time. Oh, like, I remember. I remember, like, I totally didn't see anyone on the way. Hmm, I guess this really is a dead end. Something you finally pull out of a witness is never a dead end, Phoenix. It's no good. I can't find anything wrong. Phoenix, the judge believes this testimony. If you don't find some sort of hitch in her statement... He'll end the trial. I know. You have to give it another shot. It doesn't matter how many times we listen. We can't give up. Uh, okay, and that's gonna go back to this. Um, here we go. Alright, I presume? Yeah, okay. Uh, so... I figured it out, because there is, uh, I don't know how I'm gonna do this necessarily, but, um, now, what to present is the question here. I guess the best thing to present is our, uh, a little friend here. Boom. You say that you didn't see anyone on the way to the channeling chamber. However, that is impossible. Like, what? Uh, what do you mean? I'd like to introduce someone to you. Here, this is Miss Morgan Fay's daughter, Pearl Fay. Interesting. You have a semi-intelligent look on your face. So, what about this child? It just so happens that at the time of the murder, Pearl was playing in the center garden. The garden? Yep. Which means anyone walking through the area would have had to see her. So, Miss Mighty, what do you have to say to that? Good. Oh, Objection. it looks like we're getting somewhere with this. As the court can see, she's a bit of an airhead. Also, she was leading her sister at that time. Do you honestly think she would have noticed a simple child playing? Preposterous. Objection. Hold up. It's not preposterous, and I can prove it. But what sort of foolish? There is no way someone walking along the windy way could have not noticed Pearl. Oh no, Phoenix, we're not doing this to her, are we? Are we doing this to her? We're doing this to her, aren't we? Take that. Yeah, how about this? This urn is my proof. An old cracked clay pot. What is that going to prove? Well, do you know why it's cracked? It's because Pearl broke it. That's why. Phoenix! We told Pearl, we, we promised Pearl that we... 
No, oh my gosh. She broke the urn. Kick your game. Why, why do I feel like you're about to ruin my beautiful day? Well, glad you noticed. This urn was broken around the time the channeling started. Uh, and Pearl was the one who put it back together. While sitting right there in the middle of Winding Way. What? Do so you want to explain to me how you missed a child in a broken bot? Miss Miney. Um, Pearl was there in the Winding Way at the time. She was hard at work, putting the pieces of the urn back together, you see. If you couldn't see that while you were walking, I'd have to declare you legally blind. <laughs> I think I have sufficiently proven one thing, Miss Miney. You're lying. You're a masterful liar. Ah! And the judge. Mr. Wright, you need to watch what you say. I only speak factual information. The one who needs to watch what she's saying is a witness. So, Miss Miney, tell us the truth. Uh, about what? About what? About where you really were at the time of the martyr, of course. Objection! What are we objecting about now? The witness just testified about that. Th th that's right. I was, like, sleeping in the side room. Can I really believe her? Was she really sleeping in the side room? Absolutely not. No way. No, John, I know where this is going now. Your lies end here. But what, what do you... The witness says that during the actual murder, she was asleep in the side room. And I say that's not possible, because there is clearly a contradiction here. A, a contradiction? Where is this contradiction? Uh, it's the testimony. Help me, Mia. <laughs> Uh, early in your, early in your testimony, Miss Mia, you made the following statement. Mighty. What did I say, Miss Mia? And, like, Miss Morgan was the only one in the channeling chamber. It's true that at the time, both myself and Miss Hart were not there. We'd gone to call the police. S so Like, what does that, like, have to do with anything? Well, it's very simple. Miss Mighty, how did you know that fact? H how? I can see that Miss Faye was the only person in the channeling chamber. But... However, someone who was asleep in the side room couldn't have known that. Which means, Miss Miney, you did in fact go to the Chandling Chamber. But you didn't go there by way of the Winding Way. Yeah. Oh, snap. B -b look at the Manor Guard map. If one were to go between the side room and the Chandling Chamber, one would have to use the Winding Way. Yeah, that's right. Your Honor, good job. Which is why, which is why I asked this very important question. Here it is. Where was the witness at the time of the murder? Um, uh, uh, Miss Miney! How would you like to answer the question, please? What? Don't ask us a question off a baseless assumption, if you please. Hmm? Well, I suppose since you've put it all on the table, Mr. Phoenix, right? Here, let's try this ourselves. You might as well answer the question for us. Where was the witness at the time of the murder? That's your chance, Phoenix. Yep. The only person who could have killed Dr. Gray was Eeny Miney, so now is the time to prove it. Now then, Mr. Wright, let's hear your answer. Oh, sure. Where was the witness when the murder took place? Ah, yes. Well, let's see. If we were here, Pearl was here, and she was lying about being there, there's only one place she could be. And that would be right there. <laughs> Miss Miney was here, of course. But, but, but that's... The channeling chamber. Isn't that the crime scene? Yeah, that's right. Miss Miney was at the scene of the crime. Oh, now the crowd's really going off. Order, order, order. That's why that is... Yeah, I... Mr. Phoenix Wright, have you lost your mind? Yesterday's testimony established that only the victim and the defendant were in the chamber when the channeling started. There you go. Say things incorrectly, that sounds vaguely... New European? That doesn't seem right. I feel like that, that didn't work. Anyway, yes, yes, that's correct. Please explain, uh, explain yourself. Simple, Miss Eeny was hiding at the scene of the crime. I... I was hiding? Where? Like, where was I hiding? Well, let's see. If... Dead guy's here, and Maya is here, then you must have been here. Boom. Here, of course. But behind the folding screen. Gah! Don't make me say this again. Recall yesterday's testimony. Uh, there ain't no way anyone's hanging out, hanging out back there. See, you stupid jerk. Quit being so picked up, uh, quick to pin on me, slime ball. No, no, Miss Miney. I'm so sorry as you shouldn't be saying. Shut up, Gramps. See if you know exactly how old I am. Uh, I'm sorry. Well, looks like the pipe's about to burst. Guess I should help it along. 
The witness was hiding behind the folding screen with the help of this, and I am guessing it is uh, Le Big Box. Is there another thing here? Oh, our license photo, that's right. Uh, the Big Box. Miss Miney, how you were able to hide yourself at the scene of the crime is very simple. You were hiding inside this box. Oh, we got something now. We got the good music. I mean, it's all good music, but there you go. Uh, that's the tiny little box. No person could fit in that. Mm -mm -mm. Sorry, but your theory's already been disproved. Lotta disproved you when she was hiding from Mia. Um, Objection. what are we objecting about now? But the clothing box was in uh, the clothing box is in the side room, right? Which means it has nothing to do with the murder at all. Th th that's right. I was sleeping there, so I should know. That clothing box was there in the side room the whole time. Mm. Mr. Wright, do you think you can prove where the clothing box was at the time of the crime? Yeah, I got it. I got evidence too. And now I present the piece of evidence that will prove this clothing box was at the scene of the crime when the murder took place. Um, I'm assuming it's a folding screen, right? Because they both got holes in it. Take a look at this clothing box. You're so stupid. As if there's any sort of evidence to that old thing. What? Uh, this? What on earth? Oh, I don't have time for you to sit there surprised. Hurry up and say it already. Th there's a hole about eight inches off the ground. Hmm, a hole about eight inches off the ground. Where have we heard that before? Hey. <laughs> the folding screen. It had a hole at the same height. That's right! I hope this has opened your eyes to what happened. At the time of the shooting, the clothing box was sitting behind the folding screen. Which is why the bullet from the pistol hit both the box and the folding screen. Ta-da! Magic. It went through the screen, and then into the box. <laughs> Miss Miney, you were hiding behind the folding screen, waiting for your chance. Yes, for your chance to kill Dr. Gray. Ah! Well, here we go. Order, order! It's what you were saying! Oh, dude, now Von Karma's going to... Th th Mr. Phoenix, right! What about this picture? Are you saying that the person in this photo is Miss Edie Miney? That's exactly what I'm saying. I'm glad you're on my side here, Miss Edie Miney. Uh, you were hiding inside this clothing box all along. And you wore a medium's costume to masquerade as Maya Fey. I'm peeking as um, I'm peeking a lot here, aren't I? T to masquerade as Maya Fey. She had a plan from the very beginning. She would kill Dr. Gray and pin the blame on my client. No, stop. I can't stand to listen to any more of this foolishness. If that's the case, Mr. Phoenix Wright, then I have a proposition. This whole idea that the witness moved the clothing box to the crime scene pretended to be the defendant, killed the victim, and then fled the scene of the crime is preposterous. It is blasphemy. It's not possible for one person to do that all by herself. Yeah, you're right. It really is impossible for one person to do it all the preparations, that is. Ow! Need I remind you, the foolish received no mercy. Wait, 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 wait. Miss Von Karma, you said it was not possible for one person, correct? But you can't be serious. Uh, well, Miss Miney, you had an accomplice, and who that accomplice is, uh, is the 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 big bad. I'm assuming this is the big bad, a big bad. Yeah, this person. If it wasn't someone from Karine Village, you couldn't have gotten the costume, and if it wasn't someone from the Fey household, you wouldn't have had that box to use. Morgan, Fey. Isn't that the wonderful lady witness we had earlier? What do you have to say to this, Miss Miney? You shot Dr. Gray with your own two hands. Do you deny it? Uh-oh. Here we go. Is this the breakdown? Ah! Loud scream here. Is this the breakdown we need? Have we done it? I think this is what really happened. Let's talk about it. So, it starts with this. The murderer had planted herself at the scene of the crime long beforehand. Oh, we're just going- okay, I, th I thought it was going to auto-progress. Dressed in a medium's costume and wearing a wig, she pretended to be the defendant. So, and then, the chain link started. Fading in and out. The murderer crept silently towards the other two, both of whom had their eyes closed. First, she drugged Maya Fey with a strong sleeping agent. Then, she stabbed Dr. Gray with a knife. There we go. Next, she hid my client inside the clothing box. 
She did that so she could take Maya's place and frame her for the crime. But that's when something unexpected happened. Unexpected? Yeah. Bang. Right there. Dr. Gray was not actually dead. With the last of his strength, he fired a shot at his attacker. And that's why the hole in the folding screen was so low to the ground. Hmm? The murderer then took the gun from Dr. Gray and... Bang. Finished it off. After that, you and the other lady thought to break into the room. Yep, a gun's dart is certainly something you wouldn't expect to hear, and a channeling in particular, which is why upon hearing the shots, we forced our way into the channeling chamber. We open it up. Miss Miney, she immediately covered her own costume with blood. Boom. And pretended to be Maya Fey. But, but that sort of deception would have been easy to see through. Which is precisely why with Morgan Fey chased us out. Please leave this area to me. Go quickly and inform the police. Hurry, before there are other victims. Yep. But, well, what is one supposed to say? This is the real truth behind this murder. I'm telling you facts here. And now, we are good to go. We good? We done? Time to go home. <laughs> Who's that? Laughing at the time like this. Ow. Oh, you simple-minded fools. I'm sorry, are you still by chance evolving? What is it this time? M Miss Von Karma! Surely! Of course it was me. Do you really think someone of Von Karma blood will lose due to something this petty? What in the world? Are you kidding me? We have the pieces! The puzzle is completed! Mr. Phoenix Wright, your argument is flawed in one very crucial area. And that is... If this witness is the real murder, why would she go through the, all this trouble? Huh? Working together with a, ma a medium, pretending to be one, putting on this whole act, what reason would she have to do such a foolish thing? Huh? Well, that's... Uh... Yeah, that's right. That's exactly what I was gonna say. Oh, and one other thing. Why would Miss Inimani want to kill Dr. Gray? There is her motive. Yeah, that's exactly what I wanted to say, too. This is probably the easiest question of all of it. Yeah, motive. I don't have a motive. Uh, motive? That's... I can't say she has no motive here. I have to think of a motive now. What is her real reason for wanting Dr. Gray dead? The reason you wanted Dr. Gray dead is this. I do not know which one... Is it this? No, that's not it. Is it this one? I think it's this one, right? It's the... It's the thing from Dr. Hottie. Just as I thought. You bored me with your silly answers, Phoenix, right? Just great. Now even she's calling me by my full name. You think I did this to get revenge for my sister's death? Yes. Because through that accident, you suffered a lot of hurt and pain yourself. Don't be stupid. No one has proof that Dr. Gray drugged my sister, right? And you want to say I wanted to take revenge based on nothing? But what do you mean by that? Senile, stupid gramps. I'm like gonna explain, so like, please listen, okay? It's been over half a year since I was discharged from the hospital. If I, like, wanted revenge, then like, I wouldn't have waited this long. Um, and sides, like, that guy that thought of the spirit thing was like Dr. Gray. It was like a total coincidence he asked me about it, you know? She, she's back to her airhead persona, this one's not good, folks. Not great, not ideal. However, uh, you see, ow! Pathetic Mr. Phoenix Wright. You failed to support your own theory. Hmm. It is concluded. The end. Uh, I think we have our answer, Mr. Phoenix Wright. What Miss Miney has stated is very true. The revenge plan is overtly complicated and she has no motive in the first place. Furthermore, there is no reason for Miss Morgan Fay to cooperate with this plan. Mm -mm. You don't even have any truly decisive pieces of evidence to demonstrate your point. What? Okay, hold on. So many faults, Mr. Wright. You should really learn your place. Nah. What happened? I thought I had her for sure. <laughs> See, like, it's just as I, like, told you. What? I hope you liked your slice of humble pie. Great. Very well, I now conclude the cross-examination of Miss Eeny Miney. We cannot be this close. Somebody said hold it. Not me, not the judge, not Francisca. Mia. Your Honor, please, I'll have the defense one more minute. All right. <laughs> All right, sure. You can't lose here. Have faith in yourself, Phoenix. M Mia. Yes, it does sound like a ridiculously messed up plan for murder. But you know, regardless, 
that this girl trained for this crime. R really? Come on. Listen, Phoenix. Everything happens for a reason. There is a reason for why she had to kill Dr. Gray. And it is also the reason she had no choice but to kill him in that fashion. Alright. Time is up, Mr. Wright. Your final answer, please. If you want to say that you can prove Miss Miney had a motive, then why did she kill the victim in this way? Can you provide the reason? Can I? Can I really do this? Uh, yes, otherwise the game is over. So, yeah. Not totally confident here, but I know that I must press on no matter what. That's right, Phoenix. Only you can do this now. Yep. I will show and substantiate the fact that Miss Miney had a motive. <laughs> too bad. You're too late. My cross-examination has already ended, after all. Yeah. <laughs> Interesting. I'll let you have your chance, Mr. Phoenix, right? What? what? You, you're supposed to be t on my side. Gah! Van Karma only cares about the perfect win. As long as you have the will to fight, I'll knock you down, Mr. Phoenix, right? Hm. And I don't care if you are my witness. So help me, I will throw you out of my way. No way. Very well. The court will take a five-minute recess. We will continue the cross-examination after we reconvene. Hey, wait a second here. Oh, that's it. Boom. To be continued. There it is there. That is this episode here. Von Karma giving us a lifeline. Let's see if we're able to use it properly. Thank you everyone for listening, watching, and supporting in any way, shape, or form that you do. Next time, we figure out what to do in five minutes. Recess. Hopefully it's as good as elementary school. Thank you very much for listening, watching, and supporting in any way, shape, or form that you do. And until next time, take care.